When we talk about the flu, we're oversimplifying a lot because there are actually a lot of different strains of the flu. There's influenza A and influenza B. Both types make people sick and both types kill people every year. And yes, you can get sick with one and then later get sick with another or even come down with two flu strains at once. So how do flu strains get their names? Influenza A is named after the proteins that make up its outside covering. One is called hemagglutinin, which is the H in a flu virus name. Neuraminidase is the N. Each H and N have different subtypes, so these get numbers. That's why we end up with H1N1, H3N2, H2N2, and so on. Every few years, a whole new strain of influenza virus shows up in people. That can cause a pandemic, a global epidemic of new and severe disease. A hundred years ago, in 1918, the so-called Spanish flu caused a pandemic that killed 50 million people or more at the height of World War I. There were flu pandemics in 1958 and 1968 also. The last pandemic was a mild one, the 2009 H1N1 swine flu. But flu experts are always on the lookout for the next pandemic. And in the meantime, flu is always mutating just a little bit. Maybe not enough to change its name, but enough to trick the body's immune system. That's why flu makes people sick every year, and why doctors say that everyone needs a fresh flu vaccine annually. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.